Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a quick video on the Celine Trio and I will also share with you what fits inside the bag. So I was inspired to do this video from one of my Instagram followers who mentioned that she had never considered this bag before and was wondering if an agenda would fit in here. And I don't carry an agenda, but I will have I have a small little notebook that is approximately the size of an agenda that I will use to show um, whether or not it fits and some other items as well. But for those of you who have been following me, I'm sure you were expecting a Chanel unboxing because um, that was going to be my next video, but that will have to wait just a couple more days. The video right after this one will be indeed the new Chanel unboxing. So thanks so much for your patience and always for your support. So this Aline Trio is in the dark navy and it's the larger size. It is all lambskin. It has a strap that is not removable, but it is adjustable as it's got multiple holes here. Depending on your height, you can move these up and down. And of course, the most well-known or classic feature of this bag is the fact that there are three separate zippered compartments. And these do come apart. There's this sort of button or snap on each side and you can pull them apart. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but in case you are curious, it does. Uh, they do come apart. The inside is a really nice, supple uh, wool or felt lining. It feels like wool to me, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's, it's really nice. And there's some lambskin trimming here, and the same for all the other compartments. There are no other pockets. This is a very simple, chic, minimalist bag. Um, however, I think there's more than meets the eye. So this bag looks really flat and slim, and I think that's what adds to the very chic and kind of uh, ladylike look of this bag. But it does fit quite a bit, so I'll show you very quickly. And like I said, I don't have a proper agenda, but I do have this book that I use as a journal. And it's about four and a half inches in width and about seven and a half inches in height, roughly. So if you have an agenda that is about this size or maybe even slightly bigger, it will fit. And I can show you if I put this in the very front pocket and because it's a book, actually I wouldn't go any bigger than this really because as you can see, it's quite snug going in because of this half inch or so that's left for the zipper pull. Okay. So there you have it. It's very, it doesn't even look like it's in there. It looks like the bag is empty. And then if you wanted to put larger items, you can also put them in the back. I tend to put um, thicker or fatter items in the middle compartment or in the back so that it's not bulging in the front and messing with the look of it. So for example, I have the Louis Vuitton mini pochette and it's not huge, but it's a little bulky. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I have a lot of knickknacks in here. It's just my kind of catch all. And this fits, I was surprised actually. I didn't think it would look so good, but it it's very discreet if you put it in there again you don't see there's no there's no bulging it's quite neat and actually if you do stuff this bag a little bit more and it starts to puff out a bit that looks kind of cute too I've seen people on the street and it's sort of puffed out a bit like this and I like that look I just normally don't carry much uh, as many of you know so I don't have a lot to stuff the bag with but for the purposes of this video, I will also put in my iPhone 7 Plus case that fits very easily. I will also put in um, a thicker compact wallet. I normally use a card case, just a really simple card case that's super slim. But let's say you wanted to use something bigger, bulkier, that fits as well. Now it is going to bulge a bit, so I don't know that I would do that. I think it looks a little better when it's more neat, like so. Let me see if I were to put, let's just pull this out. If I were to put this wallet in here, let's see how that looks. Okay, not bad. 
Now, if you were, like I said, if you were to put bulkier items or oddly shaped items, it is going to stick out like this. These are my nails, and I don't like that look. I've seen some people put some oddly shaped items, maybe their keys and such in the front pocket, and it just, I don't know, I like it to look very neat and clean. So again, I would put those items in the center compartment. Let's see if a longer, full-size Continental wallet would fit. This is the biggest wallet that I have. If we put it in the front here, yep, yeah, it fits quite easily. And again, it's quite neat. There's no bulging. So I was actually surprised, like I said, when I first got my mini pochette, I thought, oh, this is going to look so gross. It's going to be so lumpy and bulky and bumpy, but it's not. It's really not. So that's why I say looks are deceiving. You can fit quite a bit in this very simple, minimalist looking bag. As for the cons, because this is all lambskin, it is a little delicate. As you can see, there is some creasing here. And I've had this bag for almost two years now, so it's not brand new. Um, and then, you know, if I were to put it up against something that's very sharp or accidentally scratch it, I'm sure it would leave marks. And then I did notice that the inside leather here that doesn't really rub against anything is much neater and smoother than, let's say, the front. But I think that's part of the look. I like how it looks a little bit softer, a little bit more supple, um, a little bit more worn in. I think it goes very nicely with this zipper design. Very simple hardware. Yeah. So hopefully this was helpful. It, it was a quick one, um, but an agenda, if it's not humongous, will fit. Again, I will show you one more time quickly. And then, like I said, the iPhone 7 Plus fits very easily. If you have a larger phone, it should fit fine. There you have it. If your agenda is a little bit thicker, it should still be fine. My whole hand is in there. It looks okay. So if you're looking for a very uh, chic, very minimalist bag, um, I highly recommend this. I actually, for those of you who watched my video on the APC bags that I unboxed, um, I had ordered two different APC bags. So if, for those of you who are not familiar, that is a Paris-based brand and they make some lovely handbags. I had ordered two and I unboxed them in the video as potential birthday presents for my younger sister. And I was not happy with those bags for a variety of reasons. Well, one in particular was really not practical and the other one I thought was a bit too big for my sister. Um, and I wound up finding this bag, the Celine Trio, exact same size, the large, which I think is the classic size in forest green it's this beautiful deep green color that really i think will go so nicely with my sister's skin tone because she has a slightly darker more olive complexion than myself and it just i think it would be so it looks very luxurious so i found this in that color on a website called jomashop.com j-o-m-a-s-h-o-p.com and that website or that company has been around for ages, um, way, way, way back, probably 15 plus years ago, my mother got her classic Cartier tank watch from Joma Shop. Um, they are legit. It's 100% authenticity guaranteed, full refund for any issues. Um, yeah, so I was lucky I guess that I stumbled upon that shop I had I'd forgotten about them frankly for so many years I guess they just don't I don't know they're not really out there on social media or they don't really advertise they're really known for high-end watches like Rolex and Cartier like I said um, I was surprised to see that they actually sold handbags they had Gucci they had Valentino they had Balenciaga and then they had the Celine um, and guys I think that was my best Black Friday purchase because the Celine Trio that I bought for my sister was 43% off. So it was, I mean, practically half off. It was such an amazing do, brand deal, excuse me, such an amazing deal, brand, brand new, brand spanking new. 
um, authenticity, all of that. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in finding or, you know, hunting for some deals, and because not a lot of people know about this website, I don't think, you might want to check it out. Again, it's jomashop.com. There's no, there's nothing, I'm not connected with them in any way. I just was really excited to find this deal, and I thought I'd, I'd share. And there's still some great, great holiday sales going on. I actually ordered a few more items today, and one of them I plan to do a giveaway with. So stay tuned for that. In one of my future videos, I will be announcing a giveaway and I will show you what the little goodie is. But thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.